Hey Boo Buddies, Anya here, and it's time for another look into my a writing bible binder. And uh, if you remember in part one, I started with a, a project page where I laid out all of the paratext, and I'm just going to turn that page over and continue on with the next part of setting up a new picture book for me, which is my thumbnails. So what I do is I want to do two pages with eight blocks of um, space that are going to represent two pages each. So that gives me a total of 32 pages in a spread when I get both pages set up together. And what this is for is it's gonna help with part of the outline process, but also part of the layout process as I set up the book, both in the beginning of the planning stage and also at the end during the format stage. So that's why it comes in pretty early in my project binder, uh, but it's not really something I'm gonna be using a whole lot right off the bat. So once I've got all of my blocks tied up, we're gonna put this back in the binder just like so. And you can see we've got 32 pages and I will show you how I use that later on in the series. So before I put my binder completely away, I'm gonna go ahead and make a color swatch for my illustrations. For this project, I'm using my Winsor Newton watercolors and got my palette all set up and one brush just because we're just swatching today and two pieces of watercolor paper. So the first is going to be for experimenting and the second is going to be my finished swatch. So I get my water all set up and I'm just going to play around with colors I think I want to use for this project. And I'm just going to play around with mixes and uh, levels of water wash and just kind of get an idea of what I want to do uh, in, this, in this storybook. Um, I do have a list of kind of what I think I want to do, just some things in my head that's, uh, and then as I play around, uh, I'm just experimenting with colors and some of these I like, some of these I don't like, and when I get something that I do like and I want to use in this story that, that I'm happy with, I'm going to transfer the, the color, the, the mixed wash color that I've come up with, uh, to the second piece of watercolor paper and uh, then I'm going to write out what I, what I used, how I mixed it, and what I intend to use it for in the illustration. So uh, whether it's the sky, this is the sky color, or if this is the ground color, or if this is for uh, one of the characters, or, or something like that, uh, just so everything is consistent throughout the illustration process. Uh, this is also really handy because Goodness knows, uh, when you draft out a book, any book of any style, you'll get through and and there'll be there'll come a draft where you get notes back and you have to do something that new or something over and it's good to have uh, the colors uh, written out and and explained for your own sense of self. Uh, especially since this could happen sometimes months uh, down the line and you have to, you don't have to re-figure out what colors you mix together to get that one thing if you're, if you're doing something, something additional or something over uh, and it's really handy. Uh, it's, it's really handy to have these notes uh, for yourself. And so I would do this no matter what medium I was using. If, if I was doing this with marker, I would swatch out the colors with markers and label them very similarly. If I was doing this digitally, I would have a digital palette in my in, in my creative uh, program that I was working with. Um, but since I'm using watercolor, it's really easy to show you that uh, how I'm how I'm making the swatch. Okay, uh, now that my swatch is finished, uh, you can see I've got quite a few of these pieces of paper all labeled out with, with things and colors. And uh, when I've got my swatches all ready, then I'm going to take a handy dandy uh, A5 style uh, 
clear plastic. Uh, I think this is a pencil case, but it works really handy for a little uh, holding of swatch papers and uh, and that fits right into my notebook and it goes with the project so everything is together in in the binder uh, nice and handy for me and it's very easy to see what's going on and what I used for this project so I'm gonna slip this in the uh, in the binder right with everything else and that is how we set up our illustrations um, I hope you guys found some inspiration in this one, and I will see you in the next one, Boo Buddies.